What's up guys, Fuzz13 here and today I'm going to show you guys some quick tips on how to use your high tech IC smart charger. Alright, um, so first of all, you're going to want to plug the end with the uh, cord into the wall if you haven't already done so. And <clears throat> next you're going to go and, and look for all the cables in the box. Uh, you should have one with a uh, proprietary jack to um, a uh, big or a large connector and then a large connector to a small connector and you should also have some uh, alligator clips that you don't actually really need um, for regular batteries. Uh, most batteries use a small connector and some may use the large connector. Um, so first of all you're going to want to find um, the other end and it will have a little cap on it that looks like it'll plug into something, but actually won't. So you're just gonna rip that cap off, or not rip it off, but pull it off. And then uh, you'll see these two prongs will fit into the um, holes inside here. And there's also a little um, indent on which side to go where. All right. So after that, you're gonna want, um, if you have a small adapter or small plug on your battery like most of them do you can go ahead and plug the next one in and don't remember to push this little clip up so that uh, you don't mess it up all right and now uh, you're just going to go ahead and get the um, your battery and basically um, there's a little math on the back that you really don't need to do but uh, basically all the uh, little things on here on the left side um, the one little above the little house um, that goes from 2 to 10 that's basically the uh, amount of cells in your battery on the right side is how fast you want it to charge um, it can charge 300 milliamps or 600 milliamps and basically 300 is slower but um, it will charge your battery more fully and it also um, cause less damage to your battery cells um, on 600, it'll charge a lot faster. Um, it won't fully charge it, but it'll also um, um, do more, a little bit more damage to your cells. And there's also this button right here in the middle that'll uh, discharge your nickel cadmium batteries, so NiCad batteries. Um, basically, um, most batteries that come with guns um, for free that are included, basically are nickel cadmium batteries and you have to discharge those before you can start charging them and uh yeah so if you have a 9.6 volt battery um you're gonna have eight cells and if yours is clear like mine you just go ahead and count up the cells um, but basically um whatever voltage you have there's 1.2 volts per cell and if you can't see it um just do uh say 8.4 divided by 1.2 which would come up to uh, 7 I believe because uh, 9.6 would be 8 and so on and so forth or we're going to just count them up so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cells and <clears throat> you should come with a little key tool to twist these around um, I lost that so uh, you don't really need it you can just uh, either use your fingernail or uh, stick the tip of a knife in there but uh, that's basically how you're going to use your uh, your smart charger so once you have that all set up just go ahead and plug it in and the red light should appear right here I know it's pretty bright outside and I can't really do anything but see the red light right there and if you'd like it to discharge go ahead and push this little button in the middle right here that says discharge and the light should turn a uh, yellowish orange and um, after it is done discharging, it'll turn red and start charging your battery. And once your battery is fully charged, this light will turn green. And that's basically how you charge your battery. So, yeah, this is 513 signing off.